yeah, I mean, I felt like I had to come back. So far, it's a lot nicer weather. But yeah, I'm really excited to be back here. It's been a while since I've seen a lot of the guys now. So it's really just nice to catch up with everyone, see each other in person again. But yeah, I feel really good on the bike again. It definitely was without its ups and downs, but now I'm just really excited to be back in the bunch. And yeah, excited for tomorrow. I think it's also kind of special, which is for the team as well, being a British team. It's kind of our opportunity to race in front of our home crowd. It's not often there's that many races in the UK, so I think that's quite cool as well. What are you guys going to be doing this evening to relax after a hard day on the bike? Uno. <laughs> Playing Uno. We, um, we, we got Monopoly deal, so we played that, we played it last night, we played it the odd transfer. You know, there's a few rules and it's quite a complex game, so Ben struggles with Monopoly deals sometimes. <laughs> So that led us to try and source a simpler game. So we've uh, managed to source Uno. We've already got it. I've given the guy his, his gift. So it'll probably be Uno. We have a transfer this afternoon after the stage, about an hour, so not too bad. Get back, massage, bit of grub, bit of Uno. Jobs are good. Yeah, it was all right. The crowds, lovely crowds, lovely fans. So that's your batter breathe. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> You're very welcome. Listen to your Oh, thank you, mate. It's pretty much the same thing every morning. You know, three egg omelette cooked up by the marvelous chef. Uh, and then I'll follow that up with a, a big bowl of porridge, some uh, strawberries and berries, and then I'll finish off with a bit of toast. Hello, Tom. How are you today? Yeah, that's right. I'm just listening to what Conrad's for his breakfast. <laughs> oh, I was a bit disappointed, honestly, mate. Here, look, can I see this? Yeah. All right, here we go. We got 85 time trial, 84 breakaway. Although I think I've only done one or two breakaways in my career. 80, uh, 68 climbing, 80 sprint. That's a bit overrated, maybe. 75 GC. I don't know. That's not bad for a Neo Pro, but better than better. <laughs> That's all that matters then. Thank you. From Reggie's, we've got some Barra Brith. And oh, some Barra Brith, yeah. homemade? Yeah, yeah, that's right. We thought you could give um, Carlos a bag with some. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me about stage three. Yeah, uh, favourite thing about racing in Britain, I think it's the crowds, the roads, the road surface, you know, train on it all the time. It's hard. It's not like your nice uh, roads in Europe. Uh, there's lots of potholes and things to dodge. <laughs> Next team for a boat to come on to the podium. Another of our British based teams, these archers, is you will definitely recognise these are the riders on the team of the Ineos Grenadiers. It was the Ineos Grenadiers now who started to launch off the front. Ben Turner, the Yorkshireman, the first of their riders to attack. But it was Luke Rowe, the road captain from the Ineos Grenadiers, who launched the next attack. And this one created mayhem. On an uphill sprint to the line in Beverly to hold off his compatriot, Danny Van Poppel. Here we go. Look at this. Dressed for the occasion. Ben, what do you miss most about Yorkshire when you're on race? Oh, I don't know, but I don't know if it's Brit uh, it's more of a British thing. I miss m &S. Is this the closest that you've ever been to Sheffield? Yeah, I reckon so. If you had to pick a character, who would you be? Robin Hood, Little John, or the Sheriff of Nottingham? I'd have to be the Sheriff. <laughs> Can I just say to the ladies and gentlemen, that Magnus called Robin Hood Peter Pan today, so it was absolutely lying. <laughs>
I looked down at the bus and I was thinking, what are, what are all these Peter Pan hats? <laughs> Who's winning? What's the, what's the controversies at this moment in time? I absolutely smashed it again last night and uh, two wins for Big Ben. That's the score. But we need to clarify this debate. Can you play two reverse cards or how does that work on top of each other? Okay, I'm going to put that out. Can you play two reverse cards on top of one another? Oh, I think that's a yes, actually, Ben. So does that mean that you're still winning? Ineos Grenadiers then taking Tom Pidcock closer to the front as they entered then a series of complicated twists and turns. DSM's Kasper van Uden running him close at the line and Ethan Vernon also pushing for another third place. But Olaf Koy making it four wins out of four. What's your favourite British meal? Fish and chips. You're in the right place for fish and chips. You might see yourself. <laughs> another day at the seaside and another stage in which the expectation was that it would end in a bunch sprint. Ineos Grenadiers then snuffed out his attack, riding for Tom Pitcock in the final. And then Olaf Coy opened up his sprint but found himself on the back foot and uh, barging in the company of Ethan Vernon. Vernon then found the gap, the British rider, and uh, with 50 metres to go, lunged for the line only to find himself pipped to the post by the slenderest of margins. Give that to the boy. Ben has another talent. Okay. No, it, I, well, I didn't know he could do that, but he can groom the dog. Connor, can you tell us about your alter ego, DJ Flatcap? <laughs> DJ Flatcap, he comes out normally in the off-season and only on the bus. It's a hard job. You've got to keep everybody entertained. to make it hard for the other teams and obviously we lost Tom last night which is a bit of a shame, gone all week for that aim but um, nothing changed for me, had to make it hard and yeah we did that. Went early early and um, was away in the break for a really long time today and uh, yeah we got caught um, by Wouts on the last climb and uh, it was a hard one to stay with him up there and uh, I think yeah, then uh, 3k to go, was like a dragon. Wow, I just exploded, exploded. You know, especially it's like 35 degrees today, so... Yeah, but for me it's good, so... It's a step in the right direction after this year, so... I think you made it a very exciting day. I hope it was exciting. It was a bit long out there, but... It was worth it in the end, so... It was a really hard day chasing... Uh, chasing most of the day, uh, luckily. We had put Ben in there from the, one of the first climbs, and it was super because, yeah, it forced Jumbo uh, to chase. Uh, unfortunately, Carlos went down at the base of the climb when Ben Art attacked. Uh, but then, yeah, we were able to at least stay in it for a bit there uh, with Ben, and then I chased from behind. It was a bunch sprint, so it was a, quite a hectic day after the past couple stages. But yeah, it was, it was a good day out, I'd say. Took it to him, didn't we? Hey? Have you got everyone on here? Yeah, they seem to you. Yeah. Yeah. If you're an opinion of it, you will be quite soon. <laughs> <laughs> Young rider is Magnus Sheffield! <laughs> Young rider now on the shoulders of the Magnus Sheffield! Yeah. 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 But hello and welcome to the final stage. Uh, we are at Morgan Park today. Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing? I said before, it's not very often we get to race at home in the UK, and then even more specifically back home in Wales, so racing on roads that 
I've grown up, uh, grown up riding. We were speaking to G yesterday, me and Magnus, and roads that me and him have kind of learnt our craft over the years and slogged it out in all types of weather. So to be racing on these roads in front of uh, many friendly faces I know and love is uh, is pretty special. Just want to enjoy the day. So Magnus, you're just three seconds off the lead. It's been a close race so far. What are you expecting today? I'm expecting some fireworks. Uh, yeah, we have some really hard climbs. It's uh, quite flat for the first ADK, but then uh, we swing inland and head up these beautiful Welsh climbs. So I'm hoping for some chaos up there. Magnus, Luke Rose Cycling Club, as a child, was named Mendy Fires. What are their club colours? Blue, yellow. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out. Uh, we've got a big day ahead. You know, we're on the back foot of it here. It hasn't been the perfect week. We lost Tom. Carlos crashed yesterday. Magnus is flying the flag. Um, so it's a big day. We're going to throw the kitchen sink at it. Um, all or nothing type of day. So hopefully we come out on top. And as the rain receded and the sunshine came out, Ineos Grenadiers then started to ride aggressively, setting things up eventually for a big attack that would shape the back end of the race. It was Carlos Rodriguez of Ineos Grenadiers then who attacked. To win the stage and the race, Today was the day that suited us the best, so we needed to try to force Jumbo and the other teams to, to chase, to put us in a good position. And that's what I tried. We went with Stevie, tried to, to give us a big gap, gap as possible, and then we will all in to the finish. In the end, I could get the victory, not the general cl classification Overall, but yeah, we have to be happy. Magnus was also very strong in a good position. So yeah, uh, just congratulate Wow because he has been super strong overall in the in this race. Uh, and yeah, looking forward for for the next things. The time gap for Carlos Rodriguez as he took the win wasn't enough for him to climb to the top step of the podium but the victory was secure from the moment that he attacked Stevie Williams. Meanwhile, behind and finishing in second place, Wout van Aert managed to hold on to the general classification. Good job. Good job. <laughs> 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 Give me some fish and chips, so now it's his turn. <laughs>